Uh, it might be, but this is what we have to do. Um, you know, we don't have a choice but to. We can't. We can't sit on this game. Once we leave the gym, uh, the focus is Virginia. So, uh, you know, we're used to it. Um, something that we do. I mean, every, all of us have played in tournaments before, where the game's over, you got to focus on the next game. So, uh, it's nothing new for us. Thanks, guy, Chris. You guys had a lot of uh, kind of missed opportunities. You slipped on that play. Uh, you had three that barely rimmed out late. Was there ever a moment where y'all were kind of like, okay, it's piling up against us. It's starting to turn the tide. Or, you know? Uh, you know, we were leaving each other. Um, it wasn't just me. Cam had some good looks. Luke has some good looks. Steel has some, all of us had good looks. It was just a matter of the ball not going in at that point. But uh, we just kept telling each other the next play, uh, no matter what happened on the previous play, move on to the next play and um, just keep playing. What happened on that that ball? It's rolling back. It could have been a backcourt violation. You went for it. What, what, what did you see on that? Kind of what, what went through your mind? Um, they stole the ball from the first of all, and I was on the ground. I was kind of behind the play, and they threw it back. Um, and I think it was Gary. He was, he didn't go for it. Looked like it was going out of bounds, and uh, you know I felt like I could get it. I got my hands on it, but then uh, I think it was a wet spot on the floor. I slipped and lost the control of it. What did, what did Coach say to you? He gave you a little smile. Uh, he didn't really say anything. He just gave me the, gave me the high five, and uh, you know it was. I was just trying to hustle, and I think he appreciates it. So you got to laugh at those moments. Yeah. Not oh, yeah. For up here. How are you guys able to jump out? the lead that you did against Duke. I know defense has been the emphasis for you guys for weeks, but it looked like you were able to put it together from the jump. Yeah, uh, you know, I think it started on the defensive end. Um, you know, we made everything tough for them, uh, especially their big guys. And, you know, we got some turnovers, but um, all of averages. <laughs> Last night we started over 13. And uh, so it kind of even out for us tonight. We were able to hit some shots early and get out, jump out to an early lead. Luke had a really tough night last night, just two points. Tonight, 17 and 10 for the double double. What's it like seeing him make that turn around? And how much confidence did you guys have in him from the get go today? Uh, confidence never wavered. Um, I kind of expected it from Luke. Um, you know, if he has a rough night, he'll get on himself a little bit. But also, if he has that rough if not, you know the next night he's gonna have a, a pretty big game. So uh, it's what he's it's what he's um, kind of built himself on, I guess. He's, it's what he's done. Um, I, I haven't seen him in a slump, like a multiple game slump, ever. So um, you know, I don't, he, he has confidence in himself. We have confidence in him, and we know. Uh, we know he can hit shots when he needs to. Grayson didn't. I'm sorry. How big was playing with a lead? They made a run for it there in the first half, and then again late in the second when you guys were up by even more, 16 points. Yeah. I mean, how were you guys able to hold on? Uh, you know, when we needed to, we told each other, all right, let's lock down on and get a stop here. And uh, like I said, uh, they made their run, and uh, you know, we, we made our runs. And I think that was that was key uh, because we started to hit shots and we added that with getting stops. And, and once they got it down, we got the lead back up to where we wanted to be. Uh, Somewhat comfortable. Yeah. Grayson didn't um, attempt his fifth shot to like 12 minutes left in the game. Did you guys do anything differently on him tonight than last week? If so, what was it? Uh, we, just, we really didn't. Uh, you know, we knew he would come out aggressive uh, this game. But our game plan wasn't different. Uh, matchups were different. Uh, you know, it's just part of us being more locked in on the defense. You guys have had a lot of success against zones. Was tonight the first 35 minutes maybe as effective? as you guys have been against his own team? Hey, you can put it up there. Um, but we have so many playmakers and guys that can hit shots. Uh, if you put the wings high like, like they did tonight, uh, we just put those guys in the middle, and uh, it's a two-on-one, three-on-one after that. So uh, that's what we did. We took advantage of that. Were you surprised the middle was as open as it was all night? No, because um, we knew we, they, they, they bring their wings up so high because we have shooters on the wings. So um, all we had to do was get it past that front line. And like I said, after that, it's a two-on-one, three-on-one, and you have an advantage after that. When you put, go ahead.